the police, the Ghana Armed Forces, the Ghana Prison Service, the Ghana Fire Service, the Custom Division of Ghana Revenue Authority, the Ghana Immigration Service, the intelligent agencies, and all the related security apparatus within the state under the umbrella of the National Security Council, under the chairmanship of His Excellency, the President, Nana Adanko Kupo. We want to assure Ghanaians that our commitment to ensuring peace, security, law, and order during this election period and beyond is solid, is intact, and we can assure you that the results will be there for everybody to see. It is in that same vein that we want also to let you know that as we have invited Ghanaians to join on the fourth Republican Democratic journey, which will uplift us, which will uplift our children, and which will outlive our grandchildren, we ask that bear with us and trust us that our commitment to ensure its sustenance is firm and would help us. We will work together and make sure that we play our part in the concept of all other stakeholders to ensure that Ghana continue to be a beacon of hope and a leader where everybody comes to to learn good lessons. On that note, Honorable Second Deputy Speaker, we want you to convey our best wishes to Mr. Speaker and all parliamentarians and the leadership of the, the leadership and the workers of all the parliamentary service. And let them be assured that we are in this together for tomorrow. We are in this together for the rest of our journey of the democratic dispensation that we have embarked on, on our watch so that we can hand over the torch. This time right to be a cup to our children, still under the Ford Republican Constitution, for them to hand over to their children. So that when we are on the other side, and they later join us, they will come to give us good news. I thank you very much.